welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And our topic today is make room for the prodigal sons. The enemy is already far ahead of us. Before I start, we have entered April now and April will a very intense month of preparation. An intense month where we go into the resources now. And we have six resources that we will talk about this month and that we will also bring into action. The first resources <coughs> the first resource is the mentals. The second positions. The third the Holy Spirit. And the fourth kingdom finances. And the fifth gold and the sixth silver. We will talk individual about all of these different resources. But for now, let us start with some groundwork that we have to lay before we go into all the resources. And the first groundwork that we lay is the dwelling places of Zion, the holy places, the embassies of heaven that we will establish in the nations, are the family of the kingdom. And as such, they are different. They are not only different to the uh, mortar and brick churches, but it is also different to the traditional home churches that we see all over coming up now. These are just normal churches without walls. But they are not yet on the new level. They are not yet in that intimate relationship that the dwelling places of Zion will bring. So let me see, tell you now, different points that make the family of the kingdom. We will spend as much time as possible together in these holy places. We will eat together. This is what we call love meals that will form and build a family together. We will close alike so that we make a statement of a family outside for all to see. This is the holy attire that is described for the royal priesthood. We will invite new people to the communities. It will never be a closed dwelling place except it has reached 50 people, what is a biblical number, and then we have to open another one because all the people in the holy places have to act in unity. And that is not possible if you have a crowd greater than 50 people. We will go out together to show ourselves as a community, as a family of heaven. We will go out and lift up the needy in unity. This is a great difference between a home church. In a home church, the people go out individually to their workplace, back into the world, and there they will try to spread the uh, gospel. But here in the dwelling places, we all go out together as one unit so that the people will recognize this is a family of the Most High, the family of the Kingdom of God. We support one another. That is the most important one. We will support one another no matter what is happening. We will love one another no matter what somebody has done. Great love, because these are the principles of heaven, mercy, compassion and love. We will greet one another with a holy kiss. If you do not know what it is, then Google it. We will help in all situations. We will lift up not only the family members, but also the people that we encounter, because this is how we will bring in the harvest of the ages. We will not bring it in through praying and Bible study. We will bring it in through showing forth the examples of the principles of heaven, how the heaven is functioning as a family, or in, as a relationship between sons and daughters and the father. And this we will show through examples in the neighborhoods. This is what you have learned, brothers and sisters, at the altar of incense when we taught about that. We will show forth united 
and we will show forth all united principles of heaven. But in unity and in love and in support, that makes a dwelling place so special. We will create a worldwide community of all the heavenly places. The commonwealths of God. We will recognize all of the children of God without any bias. It doesn't matter from where they were coming. They are all the prodigal sons that will return to the Father. They are all the prodigal sons that will come. And we have to make room for these prodigal sons. And the room that we prepare for the prodigal sons are the holy places where they can all come in and they will learn about the family of God in a new way, in a community way, in a family setting, in a new intimate relationship with the Lord. This is far, far, far higher than what the churches are doing right now or even any of the home churches that are right now in this world. And because we are in a family setting, we will notice right away if a family member is sick or if he has problems. And then we'll attend to this, like in a family. Think about it, how a perfect family is working. And in that way, the family in the kingdom of heaven also works, just only on a much higher level, with much greater and better principles. And you cannot bring in the harvest of the ages in the old ways, in the church ways, or even in the home church ways, because then, if that would have been the case, the harvest would have been brought in long time ago. No, the harvest of the ages will be brought in by the new things that was born for us, by the dwelling places of Zion, because they will go out into the neighborhood and show examples of love, of unity and support, of lifting up the needy, wiping away the tears from the eyes in the same way as Jesus did. You cannot do that going on these places in your workplace back to the world and trying to make that there. You cannot. You have to come in unity with all together and then show yourself forth in the neighborhoods. And there you will gather the harvest of the ages through examples. There is a big difference. But I will make a separate video about the difference between a home church and the dwelling places of Zion. Now something else, brothers and sisters. Do not believe that you will establish a holy place such we have, uh, as we have described here, just like that. Every holy place, because it will be holy ground, will only be established through the Holy Spirit. And even if we have to start with only two or three, and then it grows slowly, it doesn't matter. A holy place must be initiated by the Holy Spirit. You cannot just go and say, oh, tomorrow I will make a holy place. No, because the elders of the holy place are the high priest, and the high priest must be anointed by God. The Lord will select the people, and through the Holy Spirit they will be informed to build such a place. Only when you have that desire given by the Holy Spirit, you should start a dwelling place of Zion. It's a special <coughs> holy place where the presence of God will walk with us together. And he will not walk with us if you are not a trained royal priest and if you are not selected as a high priest. So be aware that when the first dwelling places will start next month in May, then you will see very few, a very small number that will start. First, one, two, then three, four, five, like that. And I know that we will not make more than 144,000 dwelling places of Zion in the whole world. That's the maximum. Together with 50 members each, we will have some good trained royal priesthood. And they will bring in a hundredfold harvest. So 50 people times a hundredfold harvest will give us 5,000 people that we have brought to righteousness in the harvest of the ages. 
Now, if you multiplicate this one by the by the hundred by hundred forty four thousand, we will come to a number that is seven hundred and twenty million people that will stand at Mount Zion who are alive, who will come from the holy places. Plus the murderers of the fifth seal that are under the altar. And then my, we might come to a number of 1,440,000,000 people, a great multitude standing at Mount Zion, being ready, made ready to go into paradise. Brothers and sisters, think about it. Are you guided by the Holy Spirit? Has the Holy Spirit talked to you about the dwelling place of Zion? Then go in touch with me. TripleGrace55 at gmail.com If you're not sure yet if you got the information right or if you got the information from the Holy Spirit. Jesus is coming here onto the earth right now for 40 days. And in this time period, he will select and choose the people, the high priests, for for the establishing of the embassies of heaven, of the holy places. And he will give the mantles and the provisions. So just pray over it. Ask the Lord, are you one of the chosen vessels to start a holy place? And he will guide and lead you in that. Now let me talk about the enemy side. When we talk about a family of the kingdom, and when we talk about the, the community of the heavenly kingdom here on earth, then I must say that the churches are so sleepy. The enemy is already far ahead of us. He has already built very strong communities on his enemy side, who are copies of what we should actually have built before him, the family of the kingdom. He has built families of his kingdom and his communities of his kingdom. Take, for example, the, the gay community. This is a community that is worldwide, a community that immediately recognizes members, that immediately supports members, that immediately brings them together, that goes forth into the public to show their unity. The enemy is so far ahead of us and we are so sleepy. Instead of come, for us to come together in a loving community of the kingdom of heaven, we have separated and split it in denominations and religions and churches as is bickering with one another. And the enemy is preparing so well for his coming kingdom, the kingdom of the Antichrist. He has built such communities that should have been built under the, the banner of the Lord, under the sign of the Lord, the rainbow is the sign of God, and not of the gay community. But the enemy has made it, but we were sleeping. Brothers and sisters, we must come now into the community of the Lord, because the Lord has made a covenant with us, and not with the enemy side. It's our time now to build the community of heaven. It's our time now to bring forth the family of heaven, and to go to the next level of an intimate relationship with the Lord and build the holy places, where there is holy ground. Not just the home church, but where there is holy ground. The enemy is always ahead of us because we are thinking too much worldly. He has kept us hidden in the world. He has kept us as a prisoner in the world. The enemy has done a good job to hinder the community of heaven. But that is changing right now. Because you know now the heavenly concept of the end times. You know now what to do. You know that you have to build a community of heaven. And these are the holy places, the dwelling places of Zion, where you will dwell in the shadow of the Almighty, because the presence of the Lord will be with you always in such a holy place. And for that purpose you were trained as a holy, as a royal priesthood. For that purpose you have received the information about the heavenly concept for the end times. Now it's the time to go deeper and in, more intense in it by talking about resources, by coming together, by supporting, by bringing forth finances, by getting an understanding what are the differences and what you have to do by receiving a step-by-step -step guide how to establish a holy place for the Lord. Thank you, brothers and sisters, that you have listened to this message. 
listen to it again and again. Learn what the family of king of the kingdom, what the community of the Lord has to do and what they will do and how that will compare. I will make a next video the differences between a home church, the traditional home church that we see right now and a dwelling place of Zion. We are going now very deep, deep into the world and very intense. Please follow the videos, watch them, spread them to your friends and families and pray over the establishment of a holy place in your area. If you are a chosen vessel of the Lord, the Holy Spirit will fall on you and you will be selected as a high priest to start a dwelling place of Zion. You cannot force it, it will be given by heaven. It is a gift. It is your mantle then and your position that the Lord will give you. Brothers and sisters, I hope you understand now where we are going and what we are doing. This is the month of resources and in the month of May we will start with the first dwelling places. Get ready, get an understanding and pray over it. We need you all because we want to bring in a hundredfold harvest for the Lord so that the multitude clothed in white will stand at the base of Mount Zion, at the sixth seal. Be blessed in the Lord. Pray over it. Listen to his small voice and he will lift you up to the new level of the new intimate relationship with the Lord. Have a blessed day and I shall see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.